So hopefully, um, you have to you you seem to have to do it twice the first time. It, it popped up on my device to say allow, but then a message of an of an error appeared on Visual Studio. It said there were errors. So I clicked allow here, and then I clicked cancel, and then I ran it again, mm -hmm. and then it went onto the device. So on the device, I see the Apache Cordova device is ready. I see that in Visual Studio, I'm in debug mode. There's the JavaScript console here. At the top, there is a, a stop button, a pause button, and a restart button. So if it looks like this, it did deploy to the device. And what I've got here is this test project. So if you did have a device, again, I'll pause. Did everyone get a result of the Cordova devices ready on the device? Anyone having any trouble? Yes. This is the original wall. 
in the direction of assist, but not enough of those problems just like that, but it says 450. Mm -hmm. And then that takes you through it and uploading, whatever. But it's also listed under portable devices, so should I click on the 400? I will try to do the same steps on this one too. So try that and then the second thing to be to, to figure out things are somewhat how to change between charging and file transfer. Just hold those steps for a moment.
to look for. It's not, this is not any portal devices. When I click on the portal devices, it does give me the option, which is what I originally did. But this is a number that is like two steps up. Well, that's fine. I think it's not exactly 450 versus 400, 450. It's probably just model numbers, but I think you're in the right place because it's Barnes and Noble. And instead of Android. Well, it's an Android device, so we'll do that. And then I've got that. I found this. So before I click it, I'm sure that. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, that's just saying, I mean, be careful what you're trying to install. But that's okay. On our computers, because remember, we can restart it and then it will just erase your bad stuff. So they can cross this Worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, remember at the top we have run on device or run on virtual device. In the worst case scenario, you can use a virtual device for the moment or maybe a different device once you figure that out. But we'll, we'll have more time to figure it out. Yeah. All right, so I got something running on my device. I got the Apache uh, little logo. I'm going to click the stop debugging. That'll take me back to Visual Studio. And also to remind you, another way to test, sometimes it might be even a little faster if you simply select one of these virtual devices. Depending on various factors, it may just be faster to select the first LG device here, and then you click Run. So when I say, let's run this, you know, we're not in Notepad anymore where we go to the Run menu, but I'm going to still use that terminology, Run your project that green arrow is to run your, your project. And this time it seemed like this loads much faster on Chrome than it does on my device. So sometimes I personally will be switching between showing you what I'm doing either on Chrome or in my real device. So you know it's going to be a little hard to show you on my device in the class. So sometimes I'll show on, the, on, on Chrome here. But that's, uh, that's another way to, to run your project. Not the complete way, because we're, we're going to look at some of the things like uh, the camera. And unless you have an actual camera on your computer, you won't be able to fully test that. So for this, again, I can click that Stop Debugging. It goes back to Visual Studio. Um, this is a bit of a reiteration of what we talked about last time, which is in the handout which I talked in there, you need Visual Studio, then there's a part, create your first project. So we did that last time and right now. We have the deployment, and then we have deploy to a real device. So we did that right now. It was in the handout, but we did it right now. Setting up your device, clicking the button, running, either running it on a real or virtual device. Here's the part about um, were there deployment errors. So I did put that in there. and. Um, if you're able to get this running in the class, great. If you're get it, able to get it running at home, even better, because then you'll be able to do this stuff at home as well. And we'll have the usual lab times at the end of the day to figure, figure things out in case things don't work. So I'm going to shift gears, assuming that this works, to start to then talk about what else do we do. We've got the software, quote unquote, working, and we've got the hardware working. What do we do next? So any general questions before we start to do kind of like real-ish work?